Welcome back to Monochrome Gaming. We are uh, playing a game that's near and dear to my heart. Love it quite a bit. Uh, we're playing Dying Light today. I'll be at the controls and uh, I have Riley um, over here as the co pilot. It's going to be good times. I know he's going to love it. This is. Would you actually say this is your favorite game or is it like on a on like a little like a chart? Like uh, among like a top three, five? I. Hmm. I mean, most most of this game is perfect to me, so I'd say it's 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 really up there. Um, like I I think I've only heard you say that about maybe two games that maybe three maybe three Earthbound of course yeah um, something I'm gonna dash everyone's hopes it's not gonna be on the channel unfortunately it's not something that's gonna be good for a playthrough this is gonna be amazing though. I've actually played a bit of this game. I haven't finished it. I'm going to get to that at some point, but I also like it. Don't worry, you'll see the ending. Hey, that's what we do here. We're all about spoilers. So, you know, you're just trying to find Suleiman, who is a complete dickhead. I gotta, I gotta admit, from what I do, like, remember playing this game, because it has been a minute, just, I feel like this part of the plot just kind of dropped off a bit, but I guess that's what happens when you try to, try to integrate him into the, the normal populace a little bit more. Well, I mean, you get to talk to the GRE quite a bit, and they're always dicks to you. Yeah, but I guess... They want their shit, man. That's true. You're not really important, but you're also pretty much their only operative out there. Yeah, you're the one that's getting paid for it, so... Oh, he's getting paid? I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, fuck this guy, then. He should have been doing his job. Do not lose the radio, bro. Hmm. Man. How did they quarantine this place? I don't know, but the fucking graphics in this... Beautiful. This is the type of graphics that are actually going to hold up. Like, this is the point where photorealistic games have they pretty much hit their stride. This is going to look good pretty much forever. Not like Doom 3 good. Like, oh, this looks... Which looks like just ass Look at this stupid ass. Have you ever went skydiving before? No, but he fucking falls like face first into the ground. Not a smart move. Break his legs. Then take him to the Oh, my God. Look at these Mad Max motherfuckers. Yeah, dude. Loud noises draw them. Boom! I... So... I think I've already... Oh, okay, never mind. Dude, I'll... shoot them all! Yeah. As soon as I was about to give them a little bit of props, I was just... Nah. I've seen too many zombie everything just to trust people or let them live. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dude. Oh shit. Could you imagine just fucking getting my arm chewed off like that? Yeah, man. Hell no. So, you already said you, you more or less think this game is not necessarily flawless, but you, you, you say it's much, much better than worse. Yes. How do you feel like it amongst like the zombie mythos? Like, are you okay with the, the bite isn't automatic zombification? Because I can't think of anything else that's ever done this with zombies. Where the bite isn't instant? Well, not necessarily like instant, but the bite isn't the absolute fatal. Like, any other zombie thing I can think of, the bite, you're a zombie, no no slowing down, no stopping, like, short of cutting the arm off. So I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. I but mean, it's, it's supposed to be like, this is the city this far into the future, so... They had enough time to actually research what was going on and actually get something to where it's going to not stop the virus, but at least yeah, start contain it. That just, this has to be a one. Maybe, alright, actually the only other thing I can think that does this is Resident Evil, but that's its own little clusterfuck. And that's only if you're certain people. Certain people, I think there's an antidote for, like, some of the parasites... It's its own thing, but there's not a lot of zombie things that give the hu hu give humanity a real chance. Most of the time, you either survive or that's basically it. 
you survive or you become a zombie. Yeah, and most of the time the city has to be blown up or something. This is the one universe that really says, hey, this isn't the absolute end. You might actually make it and you pinch him. cure it. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. Could you imagine being he a blinked. child in this shit? He blinked again. No. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this. Some stories have dealt with ideas like this. Kids in something like this, they'll just grow up with it. They'll just get over it. An adult has a way harder time figuring this shit out. Yeah, I guess the kids get kind of used to it since, you know. That's what they grow up in. Yeah. Okay. Wow, those are like real fucking movie posters. <laughs> <laughs> up, up, who is that? Oh, uh, she's not going to be important. No. That's just some shit they threw in the background. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here, huh? Let's do it. You sleep for three days like a dead man, then scare children. Off to a great start, 31. Where am I? In you know what? Oh, 31. 31. Drawing okay. a blank on what the heck. Enough joking the 31st Head infected. Ah. Uh, in the building. What you know what? I mean, 31. I get another thing I have to really give this game props for. Every zombie, like, thing that where they have, like, the hideout or the home base. It always feels like so apocalyptic in a bad way, like fuck living anymore. Quiet. This guy's a dickhead. Fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get a mirror santissimo. Yeah, he's gonna get that mirror. Okay, some of them are gonna be dicks and everything here isn't perfect. But it feels like they're living here and they're like making it work. It doesn't feel like everything's ultra depressing. Yeah. They're actually sort of getting along. You don't feel like any one person's just gonna fucking flip. Go see the boss, shall we? So I forgot a lot about this game, but I remember this guy's little story arc being really good. Yeah, not for not the... him, but the boss. Are you the boss? What? Am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I. You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? The no fuck kind of goggles are yeah, those? I can, I can see this those are the per the shelter. protagonist goggles. We you see him in Digimon tower. all the time. Brecken and his runners yeah, pushed all together yeah. a couple of months ago, Digimon. and we've been here ever He's since. He's wearing them. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and the rescuing people. Yeah, people. I, wanted God, to thank I girl. forgot. Just looking at his character, her, like, you'd already be design. I'm like, these bones. clothes are really just... Your was totally crushed, by the way. I don't know what's happening on right now. Only thing Jade could salvage Man, was you gotta, your radio. gotta get oh, what great. you can get. Can I get that back, Then I understand. Actually, I think He's I wearing, like, you 15 different Green things that are not the case. mixing together. Fine. Yeah, but I mean... Take it. Fuck it. He thinks it you looks good. Put their lives in danger for <laughs> I guess like so. You. I mean, he's dirty as shit. Take the antisen, meant for someone dirty else, bastard. And you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. Sorry, you punk guys, ass motherfucker. Thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore. So go be useful somewhere else. We no problem, dickhead. Bye, bitch. Hey. Be fair. I'm not. I'm not lazy. I'm just. Hey. I'm just white. Boss, <laughs> save it. That last guy I mentioned. He's only on the thirteenth floor. But you might as well be trapped in a mine haven. Oh shit. Come back <laughs> later. You already go to the thirteenth floor. <sighs> and I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Raheem. Brecken's in charge. Raheem. Hell yeah, man. It's a name you can remember. Eh. Somewhat. I'm not lazy. Little shit. <laughs> yeah, you little shit. I love that that bothers him so much. <laughs> I'm not lazy. I'm I'm useful. And I'm gonna prove it. I'll show you, man. You little shit. Where do you think you're going? Thirteenth floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. And they have a lot of those team? posters. Shit. Yeah. It's gonna be that's some work. that's why that's why I made the joke earlier about it being like some shit in the background. That's some something you copy and paste in a free space. <laughs> Like, PS2 games that went the extra mile to, like, put up decorations did that shit all the time. It'd just be random colors and, like, two letters on a page. Oh, oh. Jesus. How many people died here? Now, this is what I'm used to in zombie apocalypses. Fucking baby carriage? What's in... Uh, 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 nothing. There is never a dead baby in the carriage. Nah, oh, man. That'd be depressing as fuck. <laughs> In the end of all humanity, the dead baby is the absolute downer. It really is. It actually is. <laughs> it's been over 70 hours. Yet, here we are chuckling about it. My cover's intact. 
No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity and taking steps to blend in. So what? This is supposed to be like a allegory city for something. Is it supposed to be San Diego or is it supposed to be like more I got bitten Middle form? Eastern? Yeah, yeah it's really weird. The people here well, say I'm infected. Everybody here is Middle Eastern and it's called Haran. True. The bridge the just like set off that cue in my mind. Oh shit. Picking up the pipe. And uh, now we're gonna get to a little combat. Oh shit. Oh shit. Man, you know what, what this just reminded me of though? <gasps> what oh. is that? Oh shit. Oh wow. lost your head. Ah. <laughs> cool your head, bro. Getting away from him. No god. You have to kill him, didn't you? No, motherfucker, I didn't have to, but uh, that was, that was my your options weren't very I came bass. Down to see him and easy, easy. Dude, it's, it's like right you now. turn I'll to a home. zombie and you're like, Raheem, this is Crane. like automatically fucking just Let's rotten. Yeah, just rotted right all the way through. Away from a zombie. Oh shit, you mark? Yeah, man. I have to down prove down? myself to you, you little no, shit. Safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Don't move. Come on. Hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss. You've got to find some goss. Oh, and oh, alcohol. alcohol. Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. I know. We all know what they're doing here, but that is the, that's really a hard way to just shove it in. You need to combine the gauze and the alcohol to create some sort of medicine. Oh, man. Look at this. Some metal parts. That's super metal, isn't it? Look at, Look that's, at that. That's pretty metal. It's pretty awesome, dude. So, oh yeah, before you uh, you you whacked old homeboy in the head, I was gonna say this kind of this reminded me of uh, that that game that's gonna be coming out pretty soon. Uh, Mirror's Edge Two. Oh Jesus! Let's do. Oh my God. Hey, I had to bring it up just because after really after seeing that and saying it looked still looked better than the first one. And then seeing this again, I'm like, just how the combat's gonna work. This, why not just go ahead, swallow your pride, take this combat system, and just put it in your game? Yeah, it's just better. I mean, I just don't understand. I don't know. They, you know what? That might be more of an engine thing, but if you haven't seen or if you haven't played Mirror's Edge Two by the time you watch this, it looks it's kind of disappointing yeah, to both of us. I'm gonna find. Let's give this a just shot. Really. I don't know. After playing a game that had pretty much perfect like free running, and then seeing Mirror's Edge just do the exact same thing it did almost seven something years ago, just disheartening. Yeah, I was. I just I can't believe that they would just kind of rehash it. Well, when we were looking it up, they mentioned like it's going to be open world, so it's just taking what was already in the first game and just putting it everywhere. I mean, is there going to be, like, any leveling system or doubtful? Because they don't want you to do combat. Well, they definitely don't want you to shoot anymore. Yeah, you can't even pick up a gun. Eh, the shooting in the last game was so shit, but that's a good deterrent to make you not want to, not just take it away. But hey, oh, leveled up. Or, did you? No. Oh, whoa. What did I miss? That's That's duct tape, bro. Some yeah, adhesive. Just help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, ah, he's blending good. in. Come find me. Look at we'll that. Talk about how you can do that. Beautiful city. We're we're finally at the future of video gaming, man. Where you look off in the distance into like some decoration, and you're like, I want to go there, and it's actually a real place, yeah, and can. not just a fucking skybox. I mean, we still have, still have invisible walls, but even that's never gonna go away, unfortunately. No. There's All just right, some parts of a map of. that can't get mapped. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Could be like uh, well, some of the old Super Nintendo games you, where, uh, you are where they just wrap around games, the world. You know, that? <laughs> you know what? We've come to a point where things look too real, so you can't do that. Unless you make it into a screen wipe. Walk too far into the distance and your screen just goes black and you turn around. Actually, you know what the worst version of that is? When you walk out of the safe zone or the mission area and you just fucking die. 
Return to the mission area. Immediately. You have five seconds. Wait, what? Oh, wait, why is my screen red? Oh, I died. Especially in, like, flying games. It's like, that's oh. such fucking bullshit. You're going so fast, you're not gonna turn around in time. You know what the worst part is, though? That is the one type of game where that makes sense. Like, there, I can understand a mission area for a fucking plane, but when you're walking around, they're like, Hey, don't walk ten feet to the left. Is that enough? Do I get to talk to Bracken? Oh, look at him mean mug you. First, go change your clothes. He's pissed, man. Fuck him. His sister just fucking, like, Something told him off. You need yeah, because he's a shit. Wants you to do. I, I go never go have any team. sympathy for the younger sibling. They're always shits. There's a reason your older sibling told you something. Because you're fucking dumb and you didn't know it. But what if your older sibling is just stupid as fuck? That never happens. Oh, uh, well. Uh. Time to get an outfit. Fresh clothes. Fresh clothes. Did I just see ninja outfit over there? Yeah, but I can't I can't change into any of my DLC outfits uh, until after the prologue ready. is over. Uh, I don't know what that third one was, but it looked cool as hell. Like not secret agent or a ninja. Get your ass up to the gym. Wow, does this game have like a third person uh, camera view or anything? Not not in game, but like if you're messing around with the stuff. Raheem, I don't see you. I don't you? think so. Because I would love to see how the other, like, how the character model just runs, just, like, from third. Oh, well, you can see... Oh, yeah, Raheem like, yeah, actually runs around a little bit, doesn't he? Well, that, and whenever you're well, playing online what are you waiting for? with oh, other yeah. people. How's the online? Never tried it. It's actually pretty fun. I like it quite a bit. We're not going to be playing online uh, through yeah. this playthrough, but, uh... There's a chance we might do a one-off if we ever feel like it, but yeah. That, and we might do, like, uh, uh, invasion mode, where, uh, uh, that'd be nice. Where we get to fight, a, a night hunter who is actually human, but not human. All things can uh, you might know more than I would, and I don't want to look it up. Is Dead, uh, Dead Island 2 coming out anytime soon? I believe so. Where the hell is he? Oh, I'm... he's up there? Man, I came all the way down for no reason. Hey, you Oh, oh, shoot. I'm gonna... This game. Oh, uh, I can kill myself. I actually did forget. It's so real with the vertigo. It's... <laughs> I, I actually remember trying to climb up one of the radio towers, and I was like, I am so scared to fall right now. <laughs> Not not just because I'm gonna die, just because I, ugh. Yeah, because it it feels like super real. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, it's this part. Yeah, because I don't have like vertigo. Like, oh, if I look out a window and it's too high, I'll get dizzy or something. It's like if I if you have a chance Welcome of falling off. Gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. Hit that gym. What do you mean learn how to run? It's a pretty just badass gym, say, man. All right. Eh, it's like some cross Come shit. This is... Would Ugh. you do this? No. Are you nuts? Nope. I kill myself. Yep. <laughs> Don't be a wimp. Yeah. Oh. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Well, fuck off. Raheem, my leg. Jesus, don't move. You know what? I don't care if there was nothing but pillows and marshmallows down there. <laughs> he actually could break his leg. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta land correctly, man. That's also true. Christ on a crush. And the only way you're gonna learn is to just do it, right? Also. We're like, whoa! Somewhat true. Ugh. Holy shit. Holy That's awful. Shit. <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow, don't your, load blow your load yet. just yet. There's more. Just mm. In the bedroom. Outside. You got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing. So Eater. Oh, okay, that's is, that's a negative so far. Eaters is the worst name for zombies I've heard yet. Let's see how you handle them. <laughs> I, that's another thing I hate about zombie stuff in general. Now, no one wants to just say zombie. It has to be them, it, walkers, biters, eaters. Zed. Zed. Oh. <laughs> Zed's second worst. Zed's second worst. Just. I don't know what the taboo is, but just man up and let your character say zombie. Yeah, but, I mean, you don't want to believe it's a zombie outbreak, right? Man, when, once you're, like, stabbing people in the head, like, 
as a daily survival method, you need to just face the truth. Yeah, but, you know, it's, it's more proper, oh god, oof, what did I do? I think you Oh man, yeah, do you I have to go all the mm. Overshot your jump just a bit. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Much better. Now you see, you know what? Would never play a game like this with that new VR stuff that's getting close. Dude, that would be awesome. Uh, no way. Two that's gonna just It'll give me real vertigo. Okay, so as you can probably okay. tell, this is the uh, training area. Training area, and it's just teaching you that this the whole game is pretty much do parkour, or else you are probably gonna die. Honestly, if you can't if you can't figure out the parkour in this game, you're not even playing it. No. <sighs> Despite him having just a tad bit of trouble, it's very pick up and go. Like this tutorial isn't no, entirely necessary. Yeah, whenever you get out into the city, it's it's really nothing like this. Yeah, honestly, run around for five minutes and you've already learned more than the tutorial was really going to teach you. Make sure I don't fall that time. There we go. Especially this one where they specifically are pointing to everything. Yeah. There's. There's some other other parts of the city where it's like, oh, hey, it looks like other people created this part to jump from, you know, to make it easier for them to get back and forth, which is pretty cool, I think. Oh, yeah, it's it's fine to have, like, an arrow to, like, hey, this is a safer uh, safe zone. Uh-oh. Here we go. Now we know that we are actually infected. Something went wrong. Just like fucking on here, just, me? just fucking having a, I would, a small little seizure. I would go right to the fetal position. <laughs> I would be crying and pissing myself. It would be, it'd be a mess. That's why you're not a GRE. Oh, Hell no. I have made peace with the fact that I might die in the first wave of the zombie apocalypse. Ooh, that was a little rough. Yeah, but you know, gotta take your lumps. Yeah, he's tough, man. Man, Raheem, you just fucking left me. Raheem, what the Bitch. fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. <laughs> most likely. <laughs> that is so <laughs> that is the <laughs> most just brush like off of that I've US ever US imagined. <laughs> you yeah, you might be, but mm, probably not. Maybe not, you know. So you can go outside without eh. getting your head bitten off. Also, we're gonna send you out there to like, you know, go run errands and shit, cuz. And uh Next time on Monochrome Gaming, we will go see the Quartermaster and uh, get geared up. Then go see Zara and get our shot and all that good stuff. It's going to be a good time. Yep. See you next time.